And then premise two, the Trinity would be able to be made into an atom. And in conclusion, the Trinity is contingent. When you say made into an atom, what's that supposed to mean? Like an atomic proposition. So just like P or something like that. Wait, why, why would I grant that? Why would I, wait, that's just to say that if anything can be made into a proposition um, that's like indivisible, then it's contingent. Like, why would I grant that? I mean, that's, that. I mean, you could just use a truth table for that. I, I don't understand. Like, you know how truth tables work? Yeah, I know how truth tables work. Yeah, well, I'm the truth table no for contingent is just that it's true in one row and false in another. But for any atom in, like, prop logic, I take it that it's going to be contingent. It's going to be true in one row and false in another. Yeah, why? That's just how you would, and that's how you would build the truth table. Like, dude, like, I, I, do you need me to, like, go through, like, rules of truth tables? Like, what, what are you asking? Your Honor, I understand what you're saying. Like, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying so is you look like retarded that. right now on Instagram. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah, so wait, just, just to be clear, wait, look. That's just how truth tables go. Yeah, I was just, I'm, just, I'm just, like, entirely unclear. Like, the, the sort of argument that you're trying to formalize here is just this idea that as long as anything can be written in the form of P, um, therefore it's, it's contingent. And, like, the, the sort of condition we're using here is, like, because in a truth table, you can demonstrate that it's, it's false in the world. Therefore, it's actually false in the world. I don't, I don't understand. Like, what a truth table is the representation of how certain propositions interact with one another. Wait, I'm not, one I'm not clear. What, what exactly is in dispute? I, I just don't understand. I don't grant in truth tracking of any of the conditions we've seen so far. You don't, you because, you don't grant what? Because, 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 because all that you're trying to say here is like, oh, if there's a proposition that is P, I, I can write P being false in a truth table and therefore P is contingent. Is that the argument? Well, I mean, I already gave you the argument. Do you need me to write it out? No, no, I, I know the argument said that if something, if, if a proposition can be written atomically, then it's contingent. And then the Trinity can be written atomically and therefore it's contingent. And then when I yeah. asked for the justification for the first premise, aka the conditional, you said the reason why the first premise is true is because um, I take that any atomic proposition in a truth table is contingent. And they asked you why, and you said because yeah. the rule that's just a rule of truth Because it's like trivially true, right? That's just what contingent means. Yeah, true no, in one yeah, row, false in another. Contingent, so wait, are you saying there's a relationship directly between, you know, a truth table in it, like in a truth table, proposition being false in a truth table, and the proposition's actual falsity. No. Okay, so I don't understand the connection then. Like, well, I mean, there could be a connection. Like, if there's a contradiction, then it's necessarily false, right? That means it's false in the actual world. If you're asking, if your question is like, um, say we have like a given proposition p, and I show that it's false in one row, is it actually going to be false in the actual world? I mean, I would say no. Not necessarily. Like, it's yeah. So, so then, so things in truth tables don't actually have this sort of relationship to the to the world that we're talking about right now. So how you how you infer well, what does that mean? So like what well, you just agreed with me just now when I asked you, um, do you agree that there's a correlation between the truthhood slash falsity of a proposition in a truth table and the actual truthhood slash falsity of the proposition in question? You said no, you deny that relationship. In which case how are you inferring the possibility, which is just the truth that given a possible world, or falsity um, of a proposition given a truth act, like, how are you inferring these things? No, I don't really understand your question. So like, if I put in a truth table um, P, and let's just say P is like I don't know, the present king of France is, exists. Um, you would obviously say that that proposition is false, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Even if I write a truth table where I like you know say that the proposition is true and see like the effects of that proposition being true. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's no inferential relationship between. Wait, are, you, are you like confused? Are you just saying that you can like arbitrarily assign any valuation you want to a proposition? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm just saying that like, you could maybe you could write in a truth table that you know the Trinity is necessary. You can say that's false or something in a truth table. I just don't know why I'd grant it as a connection between what's true and false in a truth table and what's true and false in the actual world. Wait, but that's just not what I'm arguing. I, at least as far as I understand what you're saying. Oh my like, god. Like, can someone mute the guy? Mute them. Yeah, he has that's just not what I'm arguing. I'm not, I'm not saying gross. just because you're saying a valuation. In a... Yes, so wait, what then? Oh my god. Nigga, I scott, yeah, I'm not a So wait, is, 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 the, so look, I'm just gonna clear. And I think, I think I've been very. Yo, mute Ibrahim D. Mute him. Yeah, Ibrahim Akros. Mute him. Mute him. Yeah, look, I'm just, I'm just unclear. Like, and I think I've been. Ibrahim Akros. Oh my God. You guys want me to go to the video? Yeah, I mute him. I think it's like, um, look, what I've been unclear about from the beginning. Is this sort of relationship between truth tables and contingency? Um, you told me that was just a rule of truth tables that if something can be written atomically in a truth table, that therefore it's contingent. Like from the beginning, so I've been disputing. I just don't grant that conditional at all, and I don't okay. think that's a rule. So of maybe truth I'll, maybe I'll explain why. Um, so contingent at, for like the semantic definition of contingent from a truth table, like this is like basic logic. It just means like true in one row, false in another, 
And I take it that if you're just applying the rules of truth tables, right, there's like certain rules you apply. Like for instance, I get pull up like truth table generator. And if you just put A in there or P, either one, really any like just variable where there's just one letter, you're just gonna get one row where it's true, one where it's one row but, where it's but, false. That's wait, because Oh my god, oh my god. If, if what we're just trying to say here is that the Trinity is contingent insofar as if I write a truth table out. Where the Trinity being true is I see, call the fucking bullshit. Just provide the argument, bro. But it's such a good uh, any, Anywho, so if, if we're Wait, trying to say here, the no? like if, if we're trying to say here is just that, look, um, in a truth table, I can write that the Trinity is false. Um, and that's all that's needed for contingency. We just have different definitions of contingency. Also, give me a second. By, by contingent, um, for the truth table definition, I just mean one, one word where uh, the given proposition is true, one word where it's false, at least. Like, minimally, do you agree with that? Well, don't, don't let C fucking pivot from this. Just get him to... I did, wait, but see, you... you wait, wait, wait. Truth, 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 bro. You're not even a moderator in here. Like, well, what are you Hello? fucking doing, bro? Wait, where, where, where is C? C, do you agree with that? He's telling he's you to be quiet. That's what he's telling you. I'm not... There? What is he denying? I don't know. I think I'd Here, look, look. He's denying that, that NASA's the best draft. Um, time, he may not understand truth tables. Like, maybe he thinks that you can arbitrarily assign any, like, uh, truth value you want to any given proposition in a truth table. But it's not really how it works. Like, there's certain rules that you follow, and I'm just saying that I'm like following these rules that that are pretty standard in logic, which I can give you like a source for. And then I'm just saying that from there you get that it's contingent. Yeah, I mean, it's just like trivially true. It doesn't make sense to say something is logically necessary, but it's not. It's not true of every row of the truth table. Yeah, like we could say like the Trinity exists, and we're gonna represent that as P. And there's gonna be one word where it's true, one word where it's false, and that that's how you know it's not logically necessary. I mean, this is basic logic. I agree with that. Okay, well, I don't really know what the dispute was. Where is he still here? He was saying that just because you can represent the trinity as a as a variable in the truth table that it, it doesn't necessarily yeah but look, but look in reality see, see think, already can see, was... he hasn't got an argument so this is just kind of fucking futile at this point i mean i mean yeah but, but i was giving an argument it's not even whether it's an argument it just seems like a fucking pointless rabbit trail because he's already agreed that well look he can't provide the argument get it down boy it's like why the fuck is he trying to act as if he can't